Hello there, everybody. Let me introduce myself. My name is Grace, and I am the creator of Live Life with Grace, my little personal blog dedicated to fashion and my own journey to curating a capsule wardrobe. I came across the concept of a capsule wardrobe not too long ago, um, and it really intrigued me being somebody who really loves fashion and style, but at the moment can't really afford to participate in all of the latest trends. Um, and it seemed like a relatively easy thing to do, something that was really sustainable and something that I could keep up with for a very long period of time, hopefully the rest of my life. Um, so I decided to create my blog and write about my journey to turning my own closet into a capsule wardrobe and then just providing any little like tips and tricks that I discover along the way to hopefully make the process of it a little bit easier for you if you wanted to turn your own closet into a capsule wardrobe. So for this video, I really wanted to show how a capsule wardrobe doesn't mean that your outfit options are limited. Because really that's the opposite of what a capsule wardrobe wants to do. The uh, whole idea of it is maximizing on your outfit possibilities. So I really wanted to make this video to show just how versatile a capsule wardrobe can be because the whole purpose of it is maximizing on your outfit options with just as few pieces as possible. It makes it easier to get dressed in the morning. Your closet tends to stay cleaner as well, which is something that I really love. Um, so in this video, I thought of a little concept, which is a lovely little hypothetical situation that I wish was something that was really happening in my life, which is I'm going to Italy for three weeks. Wouldn't it be nice? But you can only bring a carry-on, which seems crazy. But I figured what a better challenge to try and like build a little capsule wardrobe for this very, very specific scenario that I wish was my current life. So you'll see throughout the video, I am repeating a couple of pieces, but making different looks. So the entire collection that I would be bringing on this hypothetical trip consists of 11 pieces. So three pairs of shoes, two pairs of pants, a skirt, a blazer, two tops, a polo knit, and then a sweater. So all of those pieces, if you pack it up properly, can fit into a carry-on, absolutely no problem. And with these pieces, you can actually create more than 21 different outfit options, which would last you the entire two weeks, no outfit repeating. Also, Full disclosure before we get started, it is very clear I don't make these very often. I'm using my MacBook Pro to film um, and iMovie to edit, so I'm sorry that the quality isn't amazing. Um, if it's something that I decide to continue to do, obviously I'll invest in some better tools, but please bear with me and be kind because this is my first attempt. So follow along and I'm gonna show you the different outfit options that I came up with. And hopefully you can maybe try this out with your own closet and just play around with what you have because having a capsule wardrobe just means that you get to play around with more of your pieces. And you can wear things that maybe you wouldn't really think about wearing before. So follow along, let me know what you think, and let's hypothetically go to Europe for three weeks. So I'm going to separate the looks based on the most prominent top layer and to begin with we're going to start with the classic white t-shirt. It's a staple in everybody's wardrobe so I am absolutely sure that everybody has at least one of these. So the first look is an absolute classic, just the white tee, blue jeans and then grab your favorite pair of sneakers to go with it. If you find it to be a little bit too basic for you, then you can always throw on that button down shirt just to add another element of style and a little added layer of warmth. If you want to elevate it even more, switch out the button down for a blazer and then switch out the sneakers for a pair of loafers and you are ready to go. For a fun and flirty day look, pair that white tee with the black skirt and that pair of sneakers that you love oh so much. Or if you vibe with a different black bottom, black wide leg pants are always the way to go. Throw in a blazer and switch out the sneakers for a pair of heels to rock a chic workwear inspired look. Next up, a button-down shirt. 
You can use any kind you like, white is always a classic, but I opted for a blue vertical stripe to add some color to the looks that I had planned. First is one of my personal go-tos. I love the look of a half-tucked button-down paired with blue jeans and a comfy loafer. It's casual while still looking chic and put together. For more of an elevated look that's sure to turn heads, pair it with a wide leg pant and that oh-so-sexy pair of heels. For another sweet on-the-go look, pair the button down with a black skirt and a pair of sneakers. If half tucks aren't your thing, the outfit still looks amazing with a full tuck. It's preppy, sporty, and oh so fun. Moving on to the light knit sweater. For a spring capsule wardrobe, it's an absolute must and it pairs so well with so many different things, especially layering pieces. First is a perfect example of layering. Pair it with the button down shirt, jeans, and loafers for a lovely little cozy look. Or if you want a bit of a funkier look, opt for sneakers and a wide leg pant. To keep the preppy theme going, switch out the wide leg pants for that black skirt. Moving on to the solo sweater looks, pair the sweater with jeans and sneakers for a casual on the go style. If you want something easy but a bit more elevated, opt for the skirt and a pair of loafers. For a classic, sexy, and chic look, use the wide leg pants and that beautiful pair of heels. For a look that's put together but still relatively casual, layer the sweater with the polo shirt and pair it with a wide leg pant and some loafers. Moving on to the knit polo, which has slowly become one of my wardrobe staples because it's just so versatile. The first look is another easy casual one for day wear, just pair it with those blue jeans and that same pair of sneakers. If you want to elevate it for a lunch date, throw on that blazer and switch out the sneakers for a pair of loafers. For another casually put together look, style it with those wide leg pants and that same pair of loafers. And to step that up, switch out the loafers for that pair of heels and just throw on that blazer. Another sweet lunch date look is styling the polo with a black skirt, layering on the blazer and opting for a pair of loafers. And lastly, we're back to the preppy look I love oh so much, styling with the black skirt and a pair of sneakers. So there you have it. Um, you just saw 21 different outfits, which could last you three weeks that can fit in a carry-on bag. I had so much fun making this video and just trying to plan all of these different outfits. Of course, this is just my own personal opinion and the things that I would want to bring on a trip with me. I know that my style isn't necessarily someone else's, so you can always switch something out that I know not everybody has a white polo shirt so if you have like a floral blouse that you really like wear that one instead you don't have black wide leg pants whatever black jeans brown pants just you can mix it up a little bit and you can make it your own but that's the beauty of creating a capsule wardrobe because it's all about you and your style because it's made for you by you so i hope that you really enjoyed watching this video i hope that i was able to help some of you come up with maybe some more outfit options or maybe just inspiring you to think about how you can wear some different pieces in your own wardrobe or maybe you want to try and narrow down your own little closet because honestly it's a lot of work but it's a lot of fun i needed it before i started doing this please let me know what you think about this thank you so much for watching i really really appreciate your support and i really look forward to hearing what you think about my little project here. Thank you so much and have a great day.